Lab TV travels to Los Angeles, California, where scientists and engineers at the Institute for Creative Technologies have developed a very different kind of video game for the Army. The project that I work on is called the Elect Bylaw System, and it is something that's focused on training soldiers on how to conduct meetings and negotiations. Because it turns out while soldiers are trained very well to use their weapons, operate tanks, things like that, a lot of what they're actually having to do right now is focused on dealing with the people, dealing with the local populace. Lots of video games focus on fighting, and they're called first-person shooters. This game is different. It teaches soldiers how to deal with people. So the folks at ICT call it a first-person thinker. We're teaching soldiers how to interact with people, how to better understand the people that they're dealing with, people who are from different cultures. You know, a lot of times these are folks who are really just trying to do their daily jobs and soldiers are coming in to try to help them do that as well. So why use a video game to teach social skills and cultural awareness? Games are great, they never get tired, they always say the same thing, or uh, you can also make them varied and have lots of different characters. So it really provides an additional tool. It doesn't replace real people. Um, I like dealing with human beings ultimately, but Dealing with a computer first is a good way to try out different things. So the story of the game is you are an American soldier and you're going into an Iraqi town. And what you're trying to do is help them build that town back up so that it runs well. And that might mean moving a hospital or rebuilding a market. In this game, you research situations, interact with people, and build relationships so you can help them solve their problems and they can help you solve your problems. So we put together a team with lots of different kinds of people. Game designers, educators, illustrators and artists. We had significant writing staff. We also had a very large research team who was thinking about how can we take video game technology and make it even better, make it even I mean, smarter. You can't quite see it anymore because we've done a pretty good job, but the, the corners, the, the shape of his mouth does hit some corners right, right from the upper lip. And, and then we also had military experts because one of the key pieces to this is how do we make something that's really important and relevant to what the soldiers need. And this is where you're going to actually go to your meeting and meet with the person, but this is all the stuff you want to do beforehand. Elect Bilat also includes a virtual teacher to help soldiers get through the game and understand what they're doing. What has been amazing is that when we have soldiers who see the game initially, they don't all necessarily understand what the game is all about. Once they go to Iraq, once they go and do their job, they come back and they tell us, what you gave us, what you helped us learn, is actually exactly what we were doing in real life every day. It's more than just a video game. It's training army officers how to deal with real challenges so they can help people rebuild their communities. So what's amazing is that a game is being used to help people deal with other people. To find out more about Elect Bilat, video games, and ICT, check out labtvonline.org.